Hey, it's Jati Jones, and today we're gonna to talk about the danger of dating a very sweet girl. So, as men, we love sweet women. We love to date a sweet girl. And there are a lot of really sweet girls out there. However, there are two kinds of sweet girls. There are girls who are genuinely sweet, and then there are women who pretend to be sweet at the beginning. And it is very important that you have the ability to identify which kind of woman you're starting to date. Because if you are dating a woman who appears to be sweet, but actually isn't, you're in for a lot of drama, heartache, wasted time, and trouble. So let's explore how you can identify if a sweet girl is actually a crazy girl in disguise. So I'm going to share some of my personal experience. So it took me a while to, to realize and recognize this pattern, but eventually I noticed, I was thinking back to some of the sweetest girls I ever dated. And then I was thinking about what happened when things went south, when, when things didn't go her way, how did she change? All right. So, I was thinking about a handful of women who at the beginning were super sweet, super soft, super just, you know, sunshine and rainbows and just, just wonderful, right? Um, but when things stopped going their way, when they stopped getting their way, and I started expressing what I wanted and what I preferred, then they became vindictive, then they became angry, then the drama started coming out, then the blame started coming out. Then what replaced the sweetness was, oh, poor me, crying, plus anger, rage, aggression. So how do you identify if your sweet little angel is going to turn into a violent, aggressive, hateful, guilt throwing, blaming monster. <laughs> the way to spot this kind of woman is as follows. Think of her as a nice guy. So what does a nice guy do at the beginning of a relationship with a woman he really likes? He's extra nice. He's extra accommodating. If, if there's something he doesn't like, he doesn't speak up. He pretends that he likes it because he tolerates it because he, he wants the approval of the woman. He doesn't want to rustle any feathers. He doesn't want to cause any problems. He is afraid of losing the woman. And so he is complying with everything. He is going along with everything. He does not have his own opinions. He does not have his own preferences. He never says no. He never expresses what he wants. He never expresses, no, I don't like this, or I don't like the way you talk to me there, or I don't like the way you treated me there, and so on and so forth. And so he's pretending to be more accommodating and more nice than he really is. And so these drama queens who are nice girls, sweet girls in disguise are the same thing. They are the equivalent of the male nice guy. This woman um, is so hungry to be in a relationship to get love, to be accepted, to feel safe, that at the beginning of the relationship, she will put up with a lot of things that she doesn't really like or that she doesn't really agree with. But instead of expressing herself honestly and letting you know who she really is, she pretends to be someone who is over accommodating and very nice and someone who's easygoing and okay with everything. Now, this works in the short term for, to her favor because the guy thinks, oh my God, this girl is so sweet. Oh my God, it's so easy to get along with her. Oh my God, her and I like the same things. No, you don't. She's pretending to like the same things. But then finally, the things that she doesn't like, finally, it starts to get to her. Finally, she can't keep her mouth shut anymore. Finally, she can't tolerate those things that annoy her. So she starts speaking out. She starts commenting. She starts getting angry and annoyed. And then little by little, her darkness comes out. Her ugly side comes out. Her aggressiveness comes out. And then you start looking and you're like, huh, well, what's going on? There's this super sweet side to this girl. But then she flips on me sometimes 
and she's dark and aggressive and blaming and, and, and victimizing herself and all this stuff. What's going on here? So if you see this polarity in behaviors, then you know that this is someone who is pretending to be someone other than who she is because she is hungry for love, she is hungry for approval, and the poor girl believes that she can't be herself, she thinks she has to pretend to be someone else in order to be lovable, in order for you to keep her, to stay with her. So the way to identify whether a girl is genuinely very sweet and easygoing, or if she's just pretending to be very sweet because she craves love and approval and, and she just she's kind of that needy kind, needy kind of person, well, just observe how lenient she is. is. Is she okay with everything? Does she never say no? Does she never have an opinion that contradicts yours? Does she never get angry? Is she, is she too sweet, too nice, too accommodating? Does she say yes to too many things? Is, is she too compliant? If it's too good to be true, it usually is, okay? That's a rule that applies to everything in life and applies to this as well. If you're with a girl that seems just too good to be true, too sweet to be true, too accommodating to be true, then she's probably not being herself. Here's the deal. If, if a girl is fake sweet, let's call it fake sweet. If she's fake sweet, the second she stops getting what she wants, let's say, um, let's say you guys were dating but you never made her any promises, and now you have decided to date other women. Well, in that case, that very sweet girl is gonna flip on you and the darkness is gonna come out and she may unleash fury on you, hell and fury on you, okay? So you need to be aware that these apparently sweet girls, things can get really ugly and dramatic with them. So you need to identify who they are and you need to call them out because otherwise in the end, when you break up with them, if you break up with them, then they're gonna blame everything on you, they're gonna try to make you feel guilty, and they're gonna play the victim. So, in conclusion, I'm not saying there's no such thing as a very sweet girl. Some women are very accommodating, are very easygoing, are very sweet, but others are just pretending. And in the end of the day, we all have personal preferences, and we don't say yes to everything. We are not agreeable, to everything. Not everything is okay with us. So when you meet a, a person who's okay with everything, you know they're not being themselves. At that point, you have to stop, look them in the eye, and have a talk with them, letting them know you want to see the real them. So that's what to look out for when dating a very sweet girl. It is my hope though that you find a genuinely sweet woman because there is nothing more beautiful than having a genuinely sweet girlfriend. This is Jad T. Jones. Take care.